the ring of Amara, like old internet. It doesn't let vampires go in the sunshine. Or does it? Hey rock stars, it's Amara. I have come up with an idea. Let's talk about rings. Not the if you put a ring on it kind of rings, but the rings that used to happen on the internet way back when. Sometimes there'd be a website about, say, puppies. And then there would be another website about, say, also puppies. And they'd loop them together and they called them a ring. So you'd go, oh, I like the puppy ring. And then you'd hop to website to website. I was thinking that concept is kind of neat in a YouTube space. I have, as you guys know, three YouTube channels. In just a few days, it's gonna be VidCon US. And I have never gone to a US VidCon and I'm very very excited because I had a great time at VidCon Europe I had a great time there and I'm so excited to bring that same community and energy to the big Mac Daddy Original VidCon. I am so excited about this that I'm gonna do three different videos and put them in a linking ring Across my channels and I'll link them across each other. That's what we're doing. This is the main channel Welcome to Amara in Seattle where lifestyle is an adventure I thought I would talk about five things you can do to make a VidCon experience really useful for you when you're a creator. First thing you're gonna wanna do, most important thing you can do is you can talk to other people. Now this seems like a really easy thing, but you actually have to engage with people. If you see someone with a creator badge, you actually have to go up to them and say, what's your channel about? I really, really recommend finding ways to break the ice with people, specifically other creators. What's your channel about? I like your hat. Oh, cool channel name. Any of those kinds of conversational things that are good starters, or even if they're doing something interesting, like if they have a puppet or some sort of prop or like a cool camera. You can always engage with people over those things. Take the chance to step out and connect with people. It's almost like Fight Club. Rule number one of Fight Club is nobody talks about Fight Club. Rule one of VidCon is everyone networks at VidCon. Rule two of VidCon is everyone networks at VidCon. So be the person who networks. Be a person who steps out and does that. I am very lucky to have made really wonderful friends and people to do collaborations with and people that I hope to go visit in the future just from having kind of stepped out of what was a little bit comfortable into saying, hey, I'm interested in engaging with you and learning about what you do. So I really, really recommend that. Number one rule of VidCon, if you want to get something out of it as a creator, the most important thing you can do is meet other people. That's what you're there for, right? The second thing that I recommend for VidCon, come up with a small elevator type pitch for your channel, like a micro way to describe your channel that's really engaging and find a way to present that that will resonate with people. In old school elevator pitches, you took a couple minutes. We're not in traditional business world. We're here on YouTube where intros are often like a couple seconds long. For example, on Amara in Seattle, we do lifestyle as an adventure. My travel channel, it's called Amara Not in Seattle because sometimes I'm not at home. You can come up with all kinds of things, slogans, taglines, or ways to make your channel memorable or stand out. What makes it engaging so that another creator will check it out. Or come up with a way to describe what it is that you hope to do with your channel. Third thing you're going to want to do is you want to bring something that is a way for you to share your information with people. It doesn't matter if it's like little slips of paper where you've written the name of your channel down to pass out or if you really don't end up bringing like business cards, which is kind of the traditional way. Some people they make special products like those wristbands that have their channel name on them. That stuff is cool. Maybe you want to do that in the future, but you definitely want to make sure if you don't bring anything to give people that at the very least, when you get your badge, you write your handle on it so that people can take pictures of it. That's what a lot of people did when they ran out of cards. And that is how I looked up some of the people that I'm friends with. The fourth thing I recommend for going to VidCon is that you push yourself a little bit. Say yes to a meetup you've heard of that you're kind of curious about. Say yes to collabing with someone, even if it's a little bit of a kind of collab you've never done before. Say yes to being part of really cool activities. It could be a food that you've never had that they have in Anaheim. It could be an event. I saw a video today where a girl put her feet in the ocean for the first time during VidCon. VidCon and YouTube in general have created a situation where people really can try. You can give it a whirl. If it's not for you, it's not for you, but you can still give it a whirl. And that's something that's really lovely about VidCon is there's a lot of space for doing that. You do have the opportunity to try things, to go out, to meet people, to go to meetups. Maybe you're gonna see a panelist that you've loved their videos forever and they ask for questions and you go, oh, should I ask a question? I'm nervous. I'm scared. Ask the question. People understand. One of the great things about YouTube is it's kind of a weird equalizer. Yes, there's people who are significantly numerically high and who make lots of money doing YouTube-y things, but there's also a lot of people who don't. And everyone started out not. And that's the part that's 
kind of equalizing. Most of the people who make YouTube videos understand that it's a process and you're part of that process if you're a creator and you're in the middle of this. And you're part of this process when you're attending VidCon because you're someone who's part of the process in the community piece. I have no channel without the community of rock stars around me and no one has a channel without the community around them. Ask the questions you want to ask. Give yourself the opportunity to really take off. Do it. Do living your best life. In a weird way, it's like a safe place to kind of try things out because in YouTube world, people try stuff out all the time and you're part of a community of wonderful, driven people who try. That's kind of like conquering small fears and that's kind of a thing I believe in. The fifth thing you're going to want to do is really connect with people after the convention's over. Take the time when you get home to go through the information you've gathered and actually reconnect with people. Find them on your social media sources, figure out things to discuss with them, see if there's the opportunity for collaborations. A convention is technically a block of time, but if you do it really well, the concepts and community you can build there can extend far beyond that. That's what happened for me during VidCon EU, and I'm really hoping that's what happens during VidCon US. We can pick up cards, you can check out Twitter feeds, you can Insta all day. If people want to be connected with, and that's how this works best, that's why people are at VidCon, make sure to sometimes be the one who makes those connections. A lot of people probably won't do that work, but I'm gonna tell you, I spent a little bit of time reconnecting with everyone that I met at VidCon, and even tapping people that I didn't quite meet, but that were maybe in like the edges of footage. And I've made some really cool friends out of that and have really cool conversations. And I'm really excited, literally, about traveling all over the world to meet people now, just because I took that little step forward. A quick review, five ways you can rock this VidCon. One, networking. Networking, networking, networking. Two, find a way to communicate who you are to someone. Come up with an elevator speech or something that you can convey to people that lets them know who you are, what your channel is, and why they should be part of your community. Three, find a way to physically give people an object to take with them to remind them of who you are. Four, say yes to opportunities. Five, go home and turn your VidCon experience into an experience that's enriching for your channel and for your life in general. Go through and watch anyone who's talking directly to a camera about their VidCon experience. Over and over again, you're gonna hear the same story. I met people and I love them. I met people and my life has changed. I met people and it's great. So rock stars, I'm going to VidCon. So are some of my friends. Get ready for VidCon everywhere. And until then, this is video one of three of the Ring of Amara. Not Buffy, but like, I'm Amara, and it's the ring of Amara, like old internet. It doesn't let vampires go in the sunshine. Or does it? I have nothing to do with vampires. Ooh, maybe I do. Ooh. If you like this video, please like the video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. That way you're part of the next adventure, and you can ring that bell, not just because it's fun, and ooh, I'm gonna go to Disney Day, and there's a Disney princess named Belle, and that was really big recently, but not just because of that. Whenever you ring the bell, you get indications in your inbox when I've made other videos. If you have tips for a successful VidCon, let me know all that stuff in the comments below. I'm gonna have two other videos on my two other channels. Amara Not in Seattle is my travel channel. That's where we get lost in travel, because sometimes I'm not at home. We also have Amara in Seattle vlogs. That's the vlogging channel. I think of it like DVD bonus content, bloopers, extras, tags, whatever else. The kitchen sink, you guys. You can find me on all the social medias. That means Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, as at Amara in Seattle. Also, bum bum bum, you can use the hashtag Amara at VidCon for this entire adventure. Oh, and in case you are just 211, like I am obviously making three videos about VidCon, I'm very excited. If you are as excited as I am about VidCon, I put together a playlist of all of my videos from VidCon EU. You can watch those and get inspired and see some of the crazy times that happened. I did all kinds of stuff around VidCon EU, and more importantly, I met all kinds of great people. Thanks for watching, rock stars. Best adventures, Amara in Seattle. It actually rained today. All my VidCon people, past, present, and future, don't forget to be awesome. DFTBA, y'all, whoa. Have you seen this in the background? It's as if this is from another video, look at that. This was the cover for VidCon EU, and I made this as part of a memory, turning it into motivation, which I also did on this channel. Oh, I wonder if the next cover will be cool. Oh, should I have a collection of covers from VidCon manuals? That's super nerdy. I'm super nerdy, yay!